In other worlds, you may wonder, what kind of dice do you need, and how many of that dice do you need? Sounds kind of redundant saying that way, but that's how it is. I recommend one D6, or maybe two, or maybe three. The truth of the matter is, is most of the time you'll be rolling one dice until you start leveling up your character or using some abilities that your character is proficient with. As your character grows stronger in many different talents, you'll be able to roll more dice. As you roll dice, if you ever roll a six, which I'm not going to redo this shot until we get a six on this, I got a five, but if you can imagine I got a six, then you get to continue rolling. This is known as exploding dice and it is a feature found in some other games. For that reason, you may want to have more than just one dice so you can continue rolling that way. Also, there's something in other worlds called edge. Edge can be gained or it can be lost. Some people might think of it as advantages or disadvantages, but there is a slight difference which makes a big, a big difference. Again, with redundancy here. Anyways, say that you have two degrees of edge, you will roll two extra dice with your initial base dice, and then you will choose the highest result, in this case a four, and then remove the other ones. That is different than advantage and disadvantage because with those, you would end up removing the other dice. So with this one, you choose your highest result, you're good. So whenever you gain edge, that represents times that your character would have advantages. So maybe they have the high ground if you're fans of Star Wars, or maybe they're just not stuck wading through water and they're attacking someone that might be wading through water. If they're in a disadvantage position, then they will lose edge. So for example, maybe you gain edge because you have the high ground, you're attacking someone um, that is you know, beneath you, or whatever you want to do, whatever silly, silly nanny things you guys are up to. And then they would be on the ground, they would roll and then choose the lowest if they lose edge. Uh, any of these can come in degrees, that's another way, another, another way that it's different. So you can have it stack either way, and if you lose edge, that will cancel out gained edge. So if you were to gain one edge and lose one edge, then it amounts to nothing, you just roll what you normally would roll. With that being said, we also have a list of different proficiencies, which range anywhere from your acrobatics, engineering, investigation, lore, perception, stealth, silver tongue survival, etc. If you have one degree in that profession, then you get to roll with edge. So say my character Vivin here, he has one in investigation. So I would get to roll two dice instead of one, and then choose the highest. In this case, I get to use the four instead of the two. Now, if I level that up again, however, I get plus 1d6, so I get to roll both dice and get to count them both together without removing any of them. So, when asking how many dice you roll in other worlds, it depends, but it's always the d6, exclusively d6, that's where we're at for other worlds. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Like, comment, subscribe, let us know if you have any questions, and be sure to check out our other How-To Other Worlds videos. We'll see you there. Stay awesome.